So today I'm in the Cairngorms National Park. I've been exploring, seen lots of nice things. And I'm in an area at the moment which seems to have a few hills around it. So my plan is to make my way to the top of this hill before the sun lowers too much in the sky. It's quite a hike, it appears. I've never been here before. And I'm seeing lots of things I'd like to stop and photograph. But if I do that, I'm a bit wary of missing the best of the sunlight. So I'm going to keep walking and try and reach the top. Wow, so this really is a steep hike that I'm on. I'm trying to make my way up here, actually a lot, lot higher than that, but if I turn you around in that direction, the sun's going to be blinding. But that's where I'm trying to get in a slightly roundabout way to make the ascent slightly easier, because to go straight up there would be a very steep hike indeed. But that's where I'm trying to get, so time to summon up some energy and keep going. So the climb goes on and on, but I can see quite an interesting peak just above me here in the camera. And I think I'm going to have a look there and see if there are any nice photo opportunities. There's also some nice ridges going for what looks like miles all around, so I may explore some of those and just see where I think I can get the best images from. So I had to stop and take an image of this wonderful scene behind me. The only filter I need to use here is a polarizer, which is really helping bring out the detail in the sky, the ridge in front of me and the mountains themselves. The light is wonderful, it's casting some nice shadow. It's really helping emphasize all the ridges and patterns on this ridge and also the mountains themselves. Truly wonderful scene, high up in the mountains, looking across at the Cairn Gorms, just captures the feeling of being up here, hopefully, this image. I really like it, the ridge as well, there's some wonderful lines in this composition, and there's two prominent sort of peaks on the ridge as well. And I've tried to frame this up to bring out the detail of all these wonderful things that are so far off in the distance. I'm about 135 millimetres for this actual shot. But what a wonderful feeling being up here. The temperature's dropping, so I put on some clothes and it's time to venture on. So I'm pleased to say I've made it to the top and the views are fantastic. I'll give you a look but I do warn you it is rather windy. So it was time for me to explore in the very strong winds and look for scenes that I wanted to capture. I was constantly mindful of the setting sun which was descending in the sky towards a nearby mountain. I knew that when it reached that mountain that most of the light I wanted would be gone. As you can see from this clip I decided the wind was just too strong to vlog. Photography was difficult but very rewarding. I captured three images which I will show you very shortly. The strong winds blew large clouds across the landscape and the light was constantly changing, but this made it perfect for me and with careful timing I was able to capture my images in wonderful light. I am looking forward to printing these images to look at them in their full detail.
So I've just taken my last shot. The sun is setting over in the hills in front of me. It's going to get very dark here very shortly. So I'm going to make my way back. I've got quite a long way to get back down. But I had a lot of fun up here, but it was extremely challenging due to the very high wind conditions. It's so exposed, there's next to no points of shelter in areas that I wanted to take images. So no matter what I did to my tripod, it wanted to move around in the wind. So that made things very tough. But I've enjoyed my time, I'm off to head back. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you haven't yet subscribed and liked what you saw and would like to see more content, then please consider subscribing. That would be very appreciated. But bye for now and I'll hopefully see you in my next vlog.